me and Leonard were driving back from uh, from training, and, and uh, he said, "Man, I think I think Mass got in a car accident." I was like, "No way!" And we called, we called Scrape. And he was just a wreck. Could barely understand him on the phone. We were like, "What?" And so yeah, we I still remember driving, you know, driving in the car and and, and, and all that going down. It's just like just one of those things that take your breath away in life. You know, like whew, you just get instantly sick and like. I can't really explain the emotions I felt, but I'll never forget the day, you know, definitely. When Mass passed away, I think I think the MMA world, you know, took kind of took a, a deep breath. Everyone, no one knew how to take it or, or, or how to go on. I mean, it, the, even on the business side, I mean, Tap Out is, is a huge name in MMA, you know, and for, for one of the founders, it was just hard on, on everybody, man. Just everyone kind of stepped back like, wow. You know, and, and still to this day, I think his words and it is it inspired and, and helped motivate hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, he used to say, if I could just touch one person and that one person could touch another person, you know, and, and that's, I think his, his beliefs helped grow, grow, man, just preaching the word, you know, and, and, and whether, whether his word was what, but it, I think, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. I tell him thank you, man. <laughs> that's 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 really all I could say is is I owe you and thank you for everything, for my chance, for my for being there when when nobody else would. You know that when I met those guys, I was in a time when I when I was thinking of hanging it up. I was I remember I was supposed to come out here and fight at the South Point, tough enough, and my opponent didn't show up, and it was New Year's and. Uh, I was like, Grandpa, this is the year. This is the year. If nothing happens, I, I got nothing else to do. I have to go pursue something else because I can't just, I can't just keep chasing a dream that that isn't gonna come through. You know, I have to. I, there's got to be a point, and that's. The, it was in a couple of weeks when Mask and those guys uh, showed up at that gym, and I remember him. He had a camouflage towel he had over his head and face all painted. I was like. Who are these guys? What? And he used to tell me all the time, you wear that hat, that's right. You know, and, and for, for me to just be a part of that, you know, he would call you, talk to you for hours, just read, just talking and telling you what he's gonna do and what his plans are. And and I got you. I got you, cowboy. Don't ever take that hat off. You wear that, that's you, be you, you know, and, and so so thank you, mask. Thank you. <laughs>